Hello and welcome to Animal Wise, where today we'll teach you how to brush a long-haired dog. Let's get started. We will begin with a slicker brush and a flat comb to see if there are any knots, to remove them and to open up the hair a little more. We'll first use a detangler conditioning spray to hydrate the hair and ensure we don't break it, using a good amount all over their coat. Starting with the legs, we have to move the hair upwards like this and with the slicker we can brush in layers. Hold their leg and pass the slicker so we ensure that there are no knots and that it's well brushed. If you find a knot like this one here, we need to open the knot with our fingertips. Once the knot is opened with your hands, you brush with the slicker again. We keep brushing until the knot is undone. If the tangle is still there, you have to brush with the comb until you can fully remove the knot. When you use the slicker, we have to make a circular movement. You put your thumb here and brush outwards, always avoiding touching the skin and brushing gently. We check again to see if the tangle is gone and use some more detangler spray. Using the comb, we can see if it is free of knots. If so, it's time to move on to the next phase. To do the tail, we spray again. Since the tail is longer, we will do it in layers. First, opening out the hair. The tail is usually the longest hair and can accumulate more knots. We do it the same as the leg, passing over the slicker and then combing to check that there are no knots. For this area, we separate as much hair as we can with our hand and then we brush downwards little by little.
to ensure we provide good coat maintenance, we should do this once a day. About five to 10 minutes per day should be enough to ensure that they don't have any knots and make it easier when it comes to grooming them again. We do the same with the front paw as we did with the back one. Take hold of the hair if it is up and brush downwards. In spring, more leaves, seeds and other natural detritus can be found in their environment, so we may need to pay more attention when brushing during this time. For the abdomen, belly and other parts of the body, the same technique is used. Open up the hair and pass over the slicker and check for tangles with the comb. The dog's face is the most delicate area since their eyes, nose and mouth are very sensitive. We start by lifting the ear and brushing, trying to keep the dog calm so they don't move around too much. As before, we use the comb to remove any tangles. Once one side is done, we can do the same on the other side, starting at the bottom rear and finishing at the head. This video shows us brushing a Maltese dog, but you can do the same with almost any long-haired dog. We hope you found this video useful and don't forget to check out our channel for more grooming and dog care advice. We'll see you next time.